chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this sin, not join them. Bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. So I wasn't actually planning on making a video today, but I think it's fair to say DICE have completely destroyed Anakin, maybe for the best, so his battle point cost is getting a huge increase, obviously. The way it works now in the game is that in era heroes, so era specific heroes are 4,000 battle points and out of era are obviously 6,000, and they're completely changing him, so in era, so in the prequel era, and I don't know if this still counts for the original trilogy, they haven't been too specific on that, but he's going to be 8,000 battle points. And out of era, so for the sequel trilogy, he's going to be 12,000 battle points, so I think it's fair to say that I see what they're going for here, they're trying to keep Anakin overpowered, but at the same time drive people away from him. So I think it's fair to have a hero like this, who is much better than all the others, hence why he costs more, that's not the issue. Um, the, the issue here kind of is that lobbies are still going to be destroyed by Anakin either way, Retribution is becoming a huge issue. Not to mention there are some really, really good players who are still probably going to get Anakin whether it be 8,000 or 12,000 battle points. Maybe not before anyone else would get a regular hero, but they're still going to easily get this guy. It does help the situation, but I think Retribution is a huge problem, it's fair to say that there's going to be a big rip for Anakin in Battlefront. And this is a small patch that's coming out next week, there's going to be more balancing tweaks and we don't really know about these just yet. But yeah, Anakin has been completely destroyed. And I'm saying that like it's a negative thing, it's not really, I just think Retribution is kind of the issue here, Anakin has Heroic Might and Retribution, the two best abilities in the game. For me at this point it's neither one or the other. I mean Heroic Might might as well be two abilities because it does damage and it's also like a temporary personal shield with the damage reduction it gives you so it's a difficult situation but I'm prepared to see how this plays out next week and then I can give full opinions on it. Well thank you very much for watching everyone, let me know what you think about this. It's very very interesting and I'm actually quite shocked to see that DICE have gone all out with this and deciding to up the battle point cost to this extent for Anakin. If he does end up being hard to come by in game, should they then buff him? There's a lot of different options here so I'd really like to know what you think but as I said thank you very much for watching, I do hope you enjoyed and I shall see you all next time.